here. I just I'm explained it to here. you. Get no, off. I'm pregnant. You don't do that weird ass shit. From individuals who like to complain unreasonably about minor issues, threaten, and even cause disturbances in public situations. You're lethal. You're you just person. did something wrong. Who? Relax. I'm relaxed. Okay. They appear arrogant and believe they can impose their opinions and demands on others without facing any consequences. Baby, more than you ever know, go to my jail. You gonna bail me out? I got your money. I never once defied none of your laws. However, what happens when these individuals clash with determined police officers who refuse to yield? Let's start with the case of this girl. Okay, well, what, you want to put me in handcuffs? Like, is that what you're saying? Because, like, why am I still sitting here? I just explained it to you! Allah, 18 years old, the one who has disappointed the police many times. On April 20th, 2022, the police responded to a disturbance in the neighborhood involving a woman suspected of throwing a brick through a window. Upon arrival, the officers immediately recognized the woman from previous encounters. Here, just back up, back up, back up. Go back there, I'll you. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Oh, Jesus, Allah. Like, here, can, you, like, can you please come to my window, please? Why is it always something with you, Allah? I don't Ala? know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's always something with you, Allah. Yeah, it can always be something. No, I'm you're fine. Can you stop? Get in the car, Allah. Yeah. Like, bro, Shut your door. Shut your car door. Can you just wait here for a minute? I'll, I'll come back and talk to you when you calm down. After trying to calm the woman down, the police officers approached the witnesses to gather information about the incident. You see my windshield? She broke that. She broke that shield. Why'd she do that? She thought, she think I was doing something with her. This is my cousin. Are you and I were together? No, she, she pregnant. Oh, okay. okay. While the police were investigating the situation, the woman in the car started to lose her temper. The woman, identified as Allah, decided to escalate the situation further. She stepped out of the car and began yelling at the police. Literally, she like, I'm about to come break She's still living at her mom's hey. with Huda. Hey. Yeah. No, you're not. Okay, well, I gotta go. You can come talk to me or I gotta go. I'm not. Give me my money. Give me my money. Like, she, she she yes. Can she give me my money? For all the years you've dealt with me, when have I you am... telling me what to do ever worked? Okay, I apologize. I'll sit here and listen to you. I understand. I admit my Get out of the car and let's talk. You were already out of the car screaming and yelling at me. Right. It, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get the f out of here. How'd the window get broken? I don't know them. Don't say that again. I'm sorry. The guy in the gray jogging suit is my baby dad. Yep. I don't know nobody else over there. Okay. Okay? And I wasn't over here. I was with her. We were at the grocery store. I've been with her son. He dropped me off. I have messages. I, I don't need all that. How'd the window get broken? I, I don't know her. I have no idea. Allah denied breaking the window, but admitted to having a conflict with her brother's girlfriend. Why is every single one of them saying you broke the window? No one was over there. Duh, they're gonna team up against me. Go You're ahead. not gonna be in No. Allah. I'm not trying to be like that. Why, why is it like this every time I deal with because, you? Because, bro, that's what you call it. Well, you can't stay out of trouble. Yes, I can. I've been out of trouble. I have not been in trouble, so. But you're always dealt up in drama. And it's bullshit, Allah. It's bullshit. You're always dealt up in some bullshit. I'm not trying to use it as an excuse. It's because, I don't know. I'm not going to make no excuses. Allah's behavior is becoming increasingly out of control. However, from the way the police officers speak, it can be inferred that this behavior has occurred before. I thought you were moving out of state. I did. I moved to Indiana for a minute. Well, why'd you come back? Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know that. No, because I'm not about to keep on getting blamed for something and go watch the video. Like, I'm not about to keep... When has you talking to me this way ever oh gone your way? It, it doesn't get me nowhere. No shit, it doesn't care. get you anywhere. I don't, I don't care, bro. I should be dead or in jail, to be honest, bro. I don't, I don't want to be here, like... Then why do you keep coming back? I got kids to take care of. Literally. 
They're your children. Put, Who do you want to take care of them? I don't put it on nobody else, so I take care of them. You tell me why do I come back. I'm telling you why I come back to take care of my children. You ask me a question, I answer. You still living with your mom? No. Where are you living? I live over there on... What do you mean with who? With who? My brother. Okay. Trying to act tough. Used to get her ass beat at... Yeah. Trying to act tough. Used to get her ass beat on that... Despite the police's efforts to de-escalate the situation, Allah's attitude remains unchanged. This only makes her situation worse. Cause she is though. Like, let's be real. What am I waiting here for? They know. Right now I'm investigating a possible crime where you broke a window. Okay, so... And uh, it is a courtesy, I have not put you in handcuffs. Okay, well what, you wanna put me in handcuffs? Like, is that what you're saying? The because, like, ass. why am I still sitting here? I just I'm explained it to you! Care about none of that shit! I'm used to that shit, I don't care! No shit you're used yes, to! Yes, I don't because care! Because you can't stay out of trouble! Figure I it out! I don't care, I know I don't! It's the difference, I know get I don't! Car. I'll get out of the car, I'm dragging what you out What am I getting car. out the car for? Because you're under arrest. Can I at least call my family no. and tell them? You can call them when you're booked in. Are you being serious Let's right go. now? Let's go. Okay, yes sir, but what Get out I of the car, I'm dragging you out of the car. Come on, take my wallet, please make sure it gets to my house safe right here. Right Let's go. Nope, give me your phone. Go ahead, get off of me, take this shit! Oh, don't drag me, I'm a girl! No! I'm broke! Stop! No! Stop! Oh, Stop. I'm pregnant, y'all doing that weird ass shit! I get my shit! Get off of me! Stop! Like I'm pregnant as fuck! Then stop fighting <laughs> us! Now! <laughs> Despite the woman's resistance to arrest, the police eventually handcuffed her and escorted her into a patrol car, hoping she would calm down. However, this seemed to be quite challenging for this woman. <laughs> Stop! You're <laughs> ridiculous, Allah, like every time! Can you, can you please put me in cuffs and get off, please? I'm not Sit trying up. to be ignorant. Sit up. <laughs> Stay down. Do you understand me? This is getting f***ing stupid. Now you're definitely going to jail. Car. Get in the car. Me, bro. I, don't in the car. Go. I can't. I really. Go get all their info. I'm sending her for the criminal. After stabilizing Allah in the patrol car, the next step is for the police officers to proceed with gathering information from the witnesses. What's a dude's uh, name? His sister lives right here in this first apartment. She just came on, said, "Come here." Not the great door, but the. Hi. So your brother was. He called me and he was like, "Why are the police walking up to my door?" I'm like, "Probably because they asked earlier if I'd seen anything." I'm like, "Well, my brother's got. He's gonna go through it and look and gonna send me whatever." Okay. So. Thank right. you. Yep. Good luck. Inside the patrol car, Ala continues to scream incessantly. There's been no change in her behavior since the previous encounter with the police officers. Her demeanor remains highly aggressive. Ala, it gets to the point I have to yell at you because you do not listen to anything I- Like I'm talking to nobody! I cannot I'm have a normal nobody. conversation- Do you hear me, sir? No, because you're screaming and yelling when I'm trying to talk to you again. <laughs> between you and I, every single time, I'm, every time, every time, I talk to you till I- You don't care, you do your own thing, and then when you get in trouble, this is what you do every time. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I'm pregnant, bro! Who has your daughter? My my daughter is with Hala. With Huda? No, no, not with Huda. Huda. I'm trying to make sure she gets to Huda safe. Stop yelling at me. Sir, can you just please come? Hala, I have things I have to do first. Your daughter is safe. You need to wait a moment. I just told her mom. Please. You'd have I... got, shut up and listen. You'd have got a summons for criminal damage and I sent you on your way. Because you think that's going to go your way. It's never going to go my way. No, it's not. So I don't understand why you do it every time. I know. I... At this point, Allah requests to call her mother. I just want to call my mother, please. Not yet. Allow you to do it. You are under arrest. You are on my time now. Do you understand, Allah? Why did you even come over here today? There's no reason to even talk to you. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a bitch, but there's no reason. When the woman realizes she can't achieve her goal, she reverts to her hostile attitude. The police officer talking to her also feels powerless. They can only let her calm down on her own inside the patrol car. The police officers will continue their duties. Hi. 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 Hi
Hello, Hi. how you doing? Did you guys see anything? I see drug deals going on. He's the main guy selling. 24-7, I'm getting ready to go to work here. All, all day long, all night long, he's out here dealing drugs. Well, did you see There's anybody? That's his second girlfriend, okay. and the first girlfriend, she got her back window busted out with a big with a big rock. Yeah, there's two rocks sitting there. We have a nice neighborhood, except for that apartment right yeah. here. This is a nice neighborhood, except for that. Yep, I agree. That apartment. But the more, the more you call, the more complaints that we get. Like in the mouth. Yeah. Okay, thank All you. Right. You're thank welcome. You. No, she was over last night. I took her home or whatever. Mm -hmm. Where you at? I'm like, I'm pulling up to the house. Like, I just got back. Boom, boom. Going to the house. This is my my cousin's girl. He in jail. But I, I smoke weed. Like, so I'm, I'm going to be out in the show. Yeah, yeah. So she came in. She's like, where I'm at? She, boom. She with her. I'm like, all right, whatever. I just got back. She come blowing me up like, oh, you over there with that? I'm about to f everything up. Just know you made your bed. You got to lay in it. I don't got time for you. I'm like, I just got off the road. I'm about to go to sleep. Yeah. The, the girl, girl told me, like, the camera points gets all the way down the street. Did you see her throw the bricks there? No. But she caught, like, she, she caught it. She literally set it on sale, like. Yeah, like, when she was on the phone with the, with the like, I'll pay you back. Yeah, I did yes, it. Blase's kid, everything. what do you want? Like, it's not about paying this back. It's like, why did you do it in the first place? So. After meeting with the witnesses, the police realized there were contradictions in the statements and a lack of clear evidence. So they decided not to charge her with vandalism. Not going to charge you with the criminal damage, but we are going to charge you with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. Yeah, and after talking to my supervisor, we decided we're not going to charge you with that. it. That's it. They're just not credible. I'm not going to get into a whole conversation about it. Being hit with a felony for kicking that female officer in the face. Yes, and this shit is ridiculous. Because I'm, no, it was when you were down and kicking your feet. If I had it my way, I would slap you with the felony and ship your ass to the jail. Once again, when the police asked Alla about her residence to take her back, avoiding the possibility of her returning to the scene to cause trouble, she became agitated and continued to yell at the police. You still live with your mom? Just be honest with me. Because I have to take you home now. I'm Alla, walking home. Alla, no, you are not. Bro, I'm not being under arrest. I don't want to sit here. Bro, you guys can oh follow me. Then I will drive you home. Because here's the reason you are not going to walk. I'm not letting you out of my car here. I no. I have a case because Alla, of this. I've known you for seven years. I have a case because of this. I have two babies. I'm already blessed. I'm not going to the county. Oh like, God. you don't believe me. Alla, can, if you continue to yell and scream, I'm just going to get out of the car. And you're going to be here longer. But I'm not going to sit here while you scream and yell at me. I can walk home. Allah, I am not letting you out in front of this house. You I will. Let me out of the street. I gotta go to work. I got shit to do. I'm not coming back here. On my dead ass dad. Disappointed in me. When you're done yelling and screaming, I'll finish my paperwork. Finally, Allah was charged with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. She was then released and received a court summons. Subsequently, the police obtained video footage showing her throwing a brick through the window leading to additional charges of criminal mischief. The uncooperative attitude and challenges from Ala only add more tension to the situation. However, from this incident, we can learn about the importance of maintaining composure and communicating effectively in tense situations. Patience, respect, and listening skills are all crucial factors in resolving conflicts. Instead of reacting strongly, Seeking peaceful solutions and understanding together can help create a positive outcome and avoid negative consequences. Escalating the situation only adds more trouble for oneself. And in this incident, Allah has faced consequences for her wrongdoing. Do you think this will be her last appearance? Share your thoughts in the comments below the video. Next, the incident begins with a 38-year-old woman named Carol. On March 6, 2022, the police responded to a report of a woman trespassing and disrobing in a neighborhood. When the police arrived, they saw the suspect wandering around the neighborhood. Hey, what? Stop before you get in trouble. You're not in trouble right now. If you run, you're gonna get in trouble. Stop. Yeah. The woman identified as Crystal Carroll resisted arrest and behaved erratically, causing concern among neighbors about the presence of children witnessing the incident. Oh, 
uh, Miss Carol's deciding to run. Crystal! My lord! I was supposed to go to Lynn Gulf tomorrow at 10 o'clock. They can't. Lynn Gulf Clinic, they can't help us. They can't. You want to call the police on me? Get your hand out of your car. Get out of here. Despite the police's attempts to calm her down, Carol continued to resist and behave aggressively. I'm so sick of this girl, I swear to God. These neighbors have all these little kids. Oh, I swear. Carol's behavior escalated to the point where force had to be used to restrain her, and she was subsequently taken to jail, where she continued to exhibit hostile behavior. Oh, I'm so sick of this girl, I swear to God. These neighbors have all these little kids. Thank you. Oh, I swear. Where's your shit at? Right there. I need to get and quit talking to my kids! The bag off. But she was reaching down on her yeah. front side there. Then they don't be a motherfucker! Here, face. You have a kiss car for Crystal. Have fun, Yeah. I'm not taking this stuff on her. She's slamming her head. She's like, stop. You got it? We're doing it. Stop moving! When you get somebody hurt, Crystal, stop moving. Stop. Stop moving. Okay, you want to punch me in my face? I'm not punching you, yeah, but you're going to stop moving. That's nice. Good for you. Are you on a court, man? Yeah, we are. I'm let go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're smart. Okay. <laughs> All right, Chris, I have a seat. I gotta get stuff out of here. Sit. Got it? Yeah. Resisting yeah, arrest, yeah. Arrest, yeah. Yeah. So it's um I'm trying to sit down in the middle of the road. She like literally saw me and took off running. I'm like, what? You're under arrest, so you know. You have the right to remain silent and thing you say, can and will be used against your court law. You have the right to stop any questioning at any point in time. You understand all that? If there's anything found on your on your person or in your purse that there's is drug on. related, you will be charged. Yeah. Okay, just so you know. Had it. Okay. Stop moving. I'm trying to go. There you go. Put that hand on the wall for me. No, turn this little for me. All right, you know the drill. Go ahead and take all your bracelets, all your jewelry off, and I'll take them for me. Don't do that, Crystal. Don't do that. Crystal. She's gonna be less cooperative today. Carol showed anger and refused to comply with other reasonable requests
Why do you want me to do this? Stop getting in people's faces. You ain't gonna put a f***ing hand on me. What? What do you want? She needs to pat you down. Okay, well, pat me the f*** down. Turn around, face the wall. Put your hands against the wall. Go ahead and bend your leg back. One A plus thing is that the female in there are having seizures. Turn around. Let me see the inside of your mouth. Talk about how high I ain't been high. I just gave her the head high. Thank you. What's that? Carol. Three six, Carol. Finally, Crystal Carol was charged with disorderly intoxication, criminal trespass, and resisting arrest. While Carol is drunk and causing disturbances in the neighborhood, this intoxicated woman, on the other hand, has decided to go to a large nightclub. On August 28, 2023, Miami, Florida officers responded to an incident at a popular bar involving an intoxicated woman. It was reported that the woman became angry after a man at the bar refused to buy drinks for her and her friend. Despite attempts to calm the situation, the woman refused to leave and threw her high heels at the man. And here's what happened next. Just put yours on her for now. Might as well just put yours on her. Here. Is this yours? Girl, get the f out of my face. Until she was arrested, the woman continued to exhibit rude behavior. Let me get my face out my hair. Out my Let me I'll get my it. hair out my eyes. Will do it. Stop, please. Can you get out my face so I can get my hair out my face? Why are you touching me? Oh my summer hair? For real? Ones? No. Yeah, I want to suck my That's what I'm going to fucking tell you to do. Y'all see my hair so Let me react you type sh Now put my heels back the f on my feet. What are y'all doing? I don't uh. give a f no damn heels, bitch. I'm not trying to suck nobody's And you put me up against some damn cars? What do you think you're going to do? What the f*** you think you're going to do? Yeah. Over some, some damn heels. Over some heels? Take my picture, hey? That's what y'all are doing over some heels? 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 You're hurting my birth control. Yeah, my birth control. That's what the said, My birth control, dumb The f*** you talking about, bitch? That's what I said. Is you surprised? Is you surprised? I've been coming here and spending right. thousands of dollars more than you ever know. Yeah. I've been spending thousands of dollars more than you ever know. Uh, you've been trespassing, so you can't come back. Have I been trespassing? No, I yes. haven't. You just, I've been paying just, money. Baby, more than you ever know, go to my jail. You're going to bail me out. I got your money. I'm ass. Get your hands the f off me. Stop. Get off of me. Stop. Get the f off of me. You think I'm not going to give you the money? You think I'm not gonna give you the money? Face forward. Okay, then ask me nicely. You think I'm gonna ask you? I'm not gonna ask you nicely. Yo, dumb. That bag. The woman's behavior became increasingly erratic. She screamed, pounded on doors and declared that she had the right to be released. Since you so above the law, since you so above the law, I still, I can't hear it. I can't feel that. Excuse me. We have to have your law. I know the, I know the, I know the lawyer implemented between the both of us. We have to have the law implemented between the both of us. We have to have the law implemented between the both of us. Yeah, I can't take me nowhere. <laughs> I read my rights. I read it. I read my rights. Y'all gotta let me go. Y'all gotta let me go. <laughs> Y'all gotta let me go. I seen it. I'm looking at her DMs right now. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all gotta let me go, eh. I'm looking at her. I'm watching it. Y'all literally have to let me go right now. That's crazy. When she received no response from the police, the woman continued to seek attention, insisting that she needed to use the restroom. I'm literally watching her. That's the funny part. <laughs> I got it all on video. That's the funny part. Is y'all got it? I got it all on video. Bro, I need to relieve myself when it comes to the bathroom. 
Y'all can't be serious, bro. Like, you can't, bro. I gotta piss myself. I don't care about logistics. I don't. I'm gonna piss myself, dog. It seems that this request was indeed effective. The police came to explain this to her. Oh, I can't do anything. Bro. I can't do anything. I'm, I, I'm gonna pee my backseat. Trust me. I don't oh, want I you. I don't want to piss myself. I don't want please. you to pee in my car either, girl. Please oh. give me somewhere to pee, bro. I I'm can. telling you. We have you. to wait. We have to wait. Bro, we have to wait. I can't pee. let you out of the car. To pee. I, I can't. need to pee. I can't. You can't piss somewhere, bro. Yes, you can, dog. I've been here before, bro. Yes, you can. Let me pee. Yes, you can. I'm looking at you, bro. I'm looking at you. Yes, you can, dog. Yes, you can. I can't. Why is you doing that, dog? Upon realizing that her requests were not being granted, the woman began to give reasons for wanting to go home to her daughter, who was home alone. This cannot be certain because she had lied too much before. However, if this is true, then this woman needs to reconsider her responsibilities as a mother. I really just want to go home for me and my daughter. And you'll be out of here as soon as possible. It's just me and my kid, please. And you'll be home as soon as possible with her. My kids don't even know that. Like, I don't want to be separated, bro. My kids have never... <coughs> baby, please listen to me. My kids have Mama, never been to jail. Good. I hope it stays that way. I hope it stays that way. It seems she hoped this would garner sympathy from the police and they would release her. However, it was just the worst lie she could come up with. My babies have never been to jail. Are you cold or are you hot? Are you good? I'm 23. How many I kids know. do you have? How many kids do you have? I don't, this is only the kids I have. These are the only babies I have, my two and my three. You don't have no kids, do you? I don't have no kids besides So why are you talking about how you got kids and the daughter? Kids. I Luckily, this was just a lie. Surely, no one wants such a terrible truth from an intoxicated mother. And now, the woman will be taken to jail where she continues to behave rudely. I know they got cameras in back. Now put my shoes on my feet too while you at it. I'm not moving to the shoes on my feet. She's a lie that once defied none of your laws. I never, yes ma'am, I'm sorry. I never disrespected none of y'all. I want shoes on my feet though. She already been scanned down. I was just a TGK. I am so respectful. I don't deserve it. I was just respectful. You are disrespectful as I hope you know that. I never did shit to you bitch. $51,000 to get out of here. Three days ago. Just look how she is right now. One moment she's good, the next she's not. One day she's here, she never came here before. My daughter's on the road, blah, blah. She's like, I ain't got no kids. You in a nightclub? You in a club? I live. She's wild. Anything that comes from live, we know it's going to be a problem. Finally, the woman was charged with assault and disorderly conduct. She then filed a lawsuit regarding her wrongful arrest. Next, the case revolves around a 19-year-old girl named Chelsea. I'm going to sue you after are, this. Are you saying you're not going to be able to perform this task? No. This girl with this entitlement believes that her parents will help her get out of any trouble. In South Florida, the police responded to a property damage traffic accident involving a young girl. Hi, Miss Chelsea. Right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be conducting a criminal investigation for a driver and the influence, okay? You don't need any... I do mind. I do mind. Okay. So... This is your opportunity to prove to me that you're not under the influence, okay? okay. The police requested the driver to step out of the vehicle to assess sobriety at the scene. So what I'm going to ask for you to do is step out the car and let me talk to you and explain to you what's going on, okay? Alright, don't worry about them. What I'm going to ask for you to do is complete a series of couple tasks, okay? Prove to you and prove to me that you're okay to drive, okay? No, I don't want to be okay to drive. Do you mind doing these tasks? No, I, I completely... You're going to do the task for me? Of course. Okay. All right. Officer... Yes, ma'am. West Palm Beach Police Department. Oh, my God. You're not even West Palm Beach. This isn't... Okay. Oh, wow. That's funny. All right. So what I'm going to ask you to do first is stay on your feet together, arms to your side, okay? 
I just need, if you don't understand, I can explain better. Is that okay? Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So feet together, hands to your side, alright? You're going to stare at it with your eyes and your eyes only, and you're going to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. You understand? Glass, is anything that's going to impede this? No? It almost hit you. Okay. Which is disgusting. Okay. Hands to your side. Tap, look at my finger, follow with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? As soon as the police gave her the opportunity to perform the sobriety test, the driver named Chelsea began to exhibit unusual behavior. She requested to call her father. Do not, car up do not, do not start drive. the test until I do so, okay? Please drive. Okay, both of your eyes and tilt your head back. You understand? When I tell you, you're gonna bring the hand I direct upward. Okay, Miss Chelsea, I need you to listen to me, okay? Can you please call my father? Miss Chelsea, I need you to listen to me, okay? All right, listen to me, okay? Feet together, hands to your side. Stay like this until otherwise told to do so, okay? Okay. You ready? You ready to begin the task? Left. Okay, we can put your finger down. Right. Go ahead, put your finger down. You can, ma'am, as I explained, you're gonna tip your nose and you're gonna put your hand down, okay? Right. <laughs> Left. <laughs> All right. It was evident that the woman was too intoxicated to proceed with any further tests. Your left foot's on your line. Your right foot's in front of your right, left foot. Heel to toe. Miss Chelsea, are you gonna perform I feel these? Like they're all mocking okay. Me, okay. Don't worry about them. You're worried about me right now. Okay. So please do as I asked. Your left foot's on the line. Your right foot's in front of your left foot. Heel to toe. You're gonna stay like this until I, until I tell you to do so otherwise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Miss Chelsea, that's not what I asked you to do. I'm not going anywhere, bro. I'm trying. You're gonna take a please. series of steps. And you're gonna count. One, so on and so forth until you get to number seven. Despite the officer's patience in attempting to guide her through the test, Chelsea displayed resistance and frustration towards the officer's instructions, repeatedly insisting on calling her mother. Hey, you take a series of small steps back. One, two, three. Do you understand those I tasks have, that I asked um, you to do? Miss Chelsea? Yes, do I do understand. Okay, whenever you're ready, you may begin. Just turn around. I don't want to go anywhere. All right, Miss Chelsea. I know, I'm gonna get arrested, I'm gonna get. I'm the next task I'm asked to do, and you stand your feet together, hands to your side, okay? Are you really gonna do this to me? Is <laughs> recite the English alphabet from A to Z without singing. You understand? You understand, Miss Chelsea? Yes, I do. Okay. I haven't done this in a long time, but Z, okay. um. Okay, hands to your side. Whenever you're ready, you may begin. Z, T, F, F no, I don't know, I'm a f I run FAU, so I don't know. Chelsea expressed discomfort and asserted her intention to sue the officers. I'm a freaking treatment major. Okay. I have so much... Is that gonna, is that gonna prohibit yes. you from, from lifting yes. one leg up? Yes, honestly, look at me. Okay, no. I, no. Are you saying you're not gonna be able to perform this task? No. You're not gonna, you're, are you refusing to do this task? So, you're gonna continue, right? I would like to oblige to you guys okay, because perfect. of this thing, Thank you. but... And she's tired like this, like I'm doing so. Oh okay. my god, I can't wait till I tell my okay. grandma commissioner. When I tell you, you're gonna raise one foot, either your left or your right, about six inches off the ground, which is about the size of a coat can. You're gonna keep the foot raised, parallel to the ground, and both legs straight and arms to your side, okay? You're gonna look at the elevated foot and you're gonna count in the manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on, until you tell you to Why do you have to read that? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. Despite the officer's attempts to calm the situation, Chelsea continued to resist and express her frustration, ultimately leading to her arrest. So, whenever you, whenever you're ready, you may begin the test. May I touch my car while No, ma'am. 1,004, 1,005, 1,018, 1,019. I'm sorry, you're not going to arrest me. This is the last task I'm going to ask no, you to do. No, you're not going to sit there and arrest me without okay. my... I need you to put your arms out like an airplane, okay? No, you cannot arrest me without my lawyer. You are being placed under the arrest, under arrest for DUI. You understand? Please, present. Come with me, Miss Chelsea. What did I do? Come with me, Miss Chelsea. What did I even okay. do? What did I do? Ma'am, you're being arrested for driving on the influence. I think you drove under the influence. <laughs> The woman's behavior became increasingly aggressive and hostile. She continued to make threats against the police, 
even revealing personal information about her grandma. However, she would soon realize that this had no effect compared to the actions she had taken. Chelsea, do you have anything on your person that you need to worry about? Weapons, knives, No, drugs. nothing! Okay, I'm gonna check you for weapons. I don't do anything! This is your cream and major! Living right now, I can't wait to get you arrested! County Commissioner, you asshole! Do you have any smaller cuffs or no? Don't I'll do it. pull this Chelsea, out! Chelsea, don't second. do this! Okay, you should call I, my I, mother I, right I, now! Hey, we will! We you will. call my mom right now! Did he explain to you it should be recorded right now, so no, everything? No, no, he never said okay, anything okay, about me okay, being recorded. Well, I'm explaining, so you're being recorded right now, so... All right. Mm, right now, right, we will call, right, right. we'll call whoever you need to call, okay? We'll hear, we'll hear about okay. it with my grandma, who's county commissioner. But, call but let's get gonna, you safe and secure right now. Are you kidding me? I need you to bend forward, Miss Chelsea. Are Just you so you get those cuffs me? off you. I'm hurting, I'm literally hurting. Okay, well, we're taking these cuffs off you. I'm literally hurting, I can't wait to go. Oh, 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 well, you gotta stop moving. Okay, so stop. All this is going to be played for your grandmother and everyone else, so stop. You have to let me it's call it's, my mother. It's in your best interest right now. Just I have no reason to be in cuffs. Okay. Like I'm completely compliant. Like I explained to you, Michelle. Chelsea. It's already You're being arrested right now for driving under the influence. You never let me. Have a seat, Miss Chelsea. Put your head. Alright, I need you to sit back so I can buck you in, okay? I need you to sit over here so I can buck you in. Okay, Miss Chelsea, <laughs> sit back for me, please. <laughs> I will go grab her uh, cell phone off the front seat. Okay, perfect. <laughs> While seated in the back of the patrol car, the woman managed to free herself from the handcuffs. All right, you're making this extremely hard for you. I'm not okay? doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I'm not trying to make it hard for you. Okay. Sarge! I'm really not trying to make it hard for you. Sarge! Step outside Sarge. the car. I'm not Step do outside. Anything. Put your hand. Please. Turn around. I'm not doing anything. You got flex cuffs? Yeah, I'm not doing a f single thing. Don't Can pull you away. Just be nice to me, God. We're tr trying to be nice to you, okay? <laughs> Why do I even do the shit I do? Okay, hold on. Can you please take me to my house? <laughs> Take this ring off you. Do you have any other jewelry on you? No, you're not allowed to take that ring yes, off me. Yes, ma'am. You're not allowed to wear it in Yeah, take it out. Yeah, good luck. Now, she will be taken to the county jail for further processing. All right, you're going to have to take that at the county jail because I can't take it off and not trying to hurt you. All right, so where are you taking me exactly? What did I do exactly, though? I don't know how to get this off me. Have a seat, please. So weird. This hurts really bad. Sit back, please. <laughs> Are you serious? I am bulking up for your safety, yes. <laughs> Upon arrival at the jail, Chelsea continued to insist on calling her grandma to sue the police officers who arrested her. You're not allowed to touch me. You're not allowed I'm to touch me. To you are not allowed to touch me. I'm not, ha I'm not to having you me. walk. I will get a female deputy to come okay. and fix yourself. Go get my female deputy. Go ahead and buckle here. Commissioner of Grandmother, I'm going to f sue the f out of you. Okay. How are you going to curse me out and f me? Oh, gosh, don't be cursed at me now. These are hurting me. I'm crazy. I'm going to sue you. Okay. I'm going to sue all of you. My grandmother is literally commissioner. No, we're going, I'm, we're, I'm going to the back. She can come out. So can you Sorry. Now you're going to go straight out of here. Are you serious right now? I hate you. You know you don't want to see that to me, but I hate you. Finally, the woman was charged with driving under the influence and causing property damage. Driving under the influence and causing property damage is a dangerous and unacceptable behavior. Attempting to drive while intoxicated is not only illegal, but also irresponsible and jeopardizes the safety of the community. What's even more serious is Chelsea's irresponsibility. She violated the law. She not only denied her wrongdoing, but also resisted and threatened the police officers who were trying to perform their duties. 
With these behaviors, Chelsea will face legal penalties. However, this will continue if Chelsea does not recognize the seriousness of her reckless behavior. The next case unfolds in a peculiar manner. It begins with this woman. I'll give it back to you in a second. All right, I'm going to my car. I'm going to my car. What are you doing? I'm going to my car. On October 14th, 2023, the Kenosha police received a call for assistance from a woman needing help retrieving her belongings. They promptly arrived at the scene to handle the situation. Upon arrival, the police identified the woman who made the call and began to communicate with her. What's going on? I need to go inside and get my things. And I would like your assistance while I get them. You live there? No. Okay. I just need to, like, it's going to take a hot second, but she's already touching my thing to move myself from it. Um, I need to just get the rest of my stuff. Okay. I work remotely. I just need to get my monitors, and it's it's upstairs. If you want to go into her place and then allow me to come inside. Okay, yeah, we'll see if we can help you out with that. Do you have an Thank idea you. with you? The woman remained very calm and cooperative with the police at this time. She handed her license to the police, a gesture that would later trigger her anger. I was going to stay here. Um, my mom just died and she's not staying here for a full month. She's moving. I work remotely. So inside. were you both here for like the equal I didn't amount of know time? She... No. A couple I, days. I got here on Sunday night in the middle of the night. Okay, I, I traveled through the long holiday. Meanwhile, the remaining police officers went to meet with the homeowner to investigate the matter. Hello. Hi, yeah, can you tell me what's going on today? Um, she is drunk off her ass. She, we went out to lunch to Target, and she made such a scene. I don't, I'm new here, not sure. even here, and then we sure. made a That's scene funny. like I've never seen. At the store. I'm it, sorry, where were you? It, well, it, we went for lunch, went to Target. I okay. Mean, I don't know the name, is it Mike's? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I mean, I've been there once. Yeah, Highway Mike's, yeah. Yeah, okay. So ordered food, I was playing the game, came in here, broke my glasses as we're driving, and went, I called her best friend, I go, I can't. I met her in California. Okay. And I did have an alcohol problem, but this one hides it. Sure. And I was... Just I, trying to help her out? I work for the federal government in Great Lakes. Uh-huh. Come on, get your shit together. And then this... Further part of the altercation, or was that no, the extent was, of it? She is very erratic. Forgot to tell me that she was arrested in Rhode Island. What for her, did she say? This kind of stuff. The woman became extremely angry when the officer told her that she couldn't retrieve her license at the moment because he was waiting for instructions from headquarters. Can I have my license? Yeah, I'll give it back to you once I get it back through dispatch. I need it. Why do you need it right now? Because it's my fault. Okay, well, I'm conducting an investigation. I have to... Confirm it through my dispatch, so I'll give it to you in a second when we're done. No. I can give it back to you. It's my property. Have you been drinking today? It's my property. Okay, I understand that. So just relax can for I a second. Can I please have my identity back? Just relax for a second. Because, to help you. Because I'm very protected. I'm, I'm, I'm a state dude. Like, I'm, I'm I, I, never, I've never listen, driven this far. You I'll, have to understand we came here to help license. you. Okay, and I I'll give it back to you. I can't go anyplace. Okay, and I'm going to give it back to you in a second. Once I get... The confirmation from my dispatch, I'll give it back to you. Despite the police officer's repeated explanations, the woman insisted on retrieving her license and became increasingly aggressive. So you're telling me that now I'm under her arrest? What are you talking about? Can I please have my license? Not right now, no. Well, why all May of a sudden? I please have my, my, my property back? No, not right now. Why do you, Why aren't you giving my... I'll give it back to you in a second. All right, I'm going to my car. Oh, I'm going to my car. What are you doing? Because um, this is my property. Okay. Bye. What is your issue? I want my things And in I'm my here car. to help you. I want to and, get out of here. And don't raise don't, your fist don't either, like so it. don't do that. I don't like I didn't raise my fist. Yes, you did. What is your issue? My issue is I want my property back, which is on your fucking vest. Okay, and I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be recording this going forward, okay? It's recording right here. Inside the house, another police officer was still gathering information from the homeowner. Okay. I won't Are you kidding? I work for the... 
cleaned up. I work for the DOT. I hey, we're all people at the end of the day. Yeah. Sure. Understandable. And you know what? You came last thing in love with my name, and I'm so, so embarrassed that people... How much... Breathalyzer. That doesn't tell me drinks. Um, just says probably her all night. So she's been doing drugs and alcohol all night. Pretty much. I go to bed. Okay. Are these hers? Yes. What does she do? She's a contractor for the government, for the universities. She's oh. going to be fired. Okay. While speaking with the homeowner, the police learned about the suspect's previous violent behavior. The suspect was also intoxicated, possibly from drug use. Yeah. I'm a 52-year-old woman that tries to be sympathetic, losing her mom, everything, to come into a bar and make a... I was... I'm what, what was it over? She is just yeah. Come in. Very immature. So, but come what? Come in. What was the initial aggravating factor that started her? She thought she lost. Yeah. Her. What's up? Hey, do we have anything for her? Cause she's starting to get. She's oh, acting. She's, she's acting weird. So I'm just seeing okay. if we. I, she is, cause she's jonesing and wants alcohol. One thing at a time. Breathe. Okay. I want. I don't want. I, I have. I. You know what? I want to go to dinner with friends later. Yeah, well, well, Driving from Mike, she made a scene. You can go into Mike's and everybody would probably right. tell you that she did. And I don't wear contacts. Pulled them off my head. While driving? While driving. Okay. Did she say anything with that? That I'm a fucking cunt bitch and I'm all this and that. Sure. And people that know me that knew my boyfriend was here from Iowa last Okay. You was there any it. other Was there any other threats made? I'm Honestly, I just want her out. I just don't trust her. Okay. When I called her best friend... Maybe she needs to learn a very hard lesson, Alex. Okay. You've been kind. Was uh, getting physical with you or yes. grabbing you during well, that altercation? Well, no, she grabbed my, my glasses. I mean... What is she doing with her hands? Just very erratic. Like in your face? Mm -hmm. Was she making fists? Yes. Did you think she was going to hit you? I, I wouldn't have touched her. All right, we'll be back. Can you just get your ID for me? I have certain questions I need to ask you. Based on the woman's unusual behavior... The police decided to arrest her. However, they would not immediately inform her of this decision. All right, what what, all, what kind of stuff do you need in there? I have things that are right outside of the room that I was staying in, and then everything that's on her table in in, the, in her dining room table. Okay, I'm here to help you. You called us, right, for assistance, I right? I called and I'm here to help assistance. you. Yes. Okay, but you cannot be treating me like that. I can if I'm conducting. Okay, well, we're past that point. So. I'm gonna help you. At this point, the suspect remained very calm. She was unaware that the police were aware of her violent behavior. Everything that's on top, I don't want it ruined. But I left because I was told to leave the house. No problem. I don't trust this woman. And that's why we're here, right, to help you? She's already taken a lot of money from me. What, uh, anything physical happened between you two? No? She has slapped me, right. yes. Okay. Alright, so, um, how about you step out? We're gonna, uh, grab your stuff, okay? Get out of the car. Wait, step out. wait, hang on a second. Step out of the car. Step out. You're under arrest. What? Step out, out of the vehicle. Out. You're under arrest. Right. The chair behind your back. I'm not resisting. Face the car. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting at all. Why am I under arrest? Uh, domestic abuse. Do you have any weapons on you or in the car? Okay. After being arrested, the woman will be taken to jail for further processing. Do you have any friends or relatives in the area? No. Do you have anyone that you would prefer to care for your animal? Depends. Have you been arrested for uh, domestic abuse before? No. Okay. No. She said she has, so we'll double check that. She said that she All right. Uh, she broke her glasses while they were driving back from Mike's. She ripped her glasses off her face while they were driving, and she was uh, flailing her arms around in the vehicle, and she thought that she was going to hit her. She does drugs and alcohol. I don't know. Okay. Um, obviously, she's in tax. I don't know anything about drugs, though. So. She did want her to get arrested. I don't know if she wants to do a complaint, though, or anything. Okay. And then I'll tell her, like, hey, I guess they both do government contracting work remotely. Okay. So um, they kind of put themselves in this predicament. Even though she's been staying here since for a week, the plan was she does have space in her room. So yeah. they have okay. residency. She's right. doing too much. She needs to be arrested. Yeah. Finally, 
The woman was arrested for disorderly conduct, as well as exercising self-restraint in tense situations. These individuals need to realize that arrogant, impatient, and disrespectful behavior can not only lead to serious legal consequences, but also provoke disapproval from the surrounding community. Resolving issues peacefully and cooperatively benefits everyone, while obstructing police work and causing disruption in society can lead to unwanted consequences. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it with your friends. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.